Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Will's Treasures. Welcome to Saturday morning premiere train. We made it through another week and I am glad you guys are all here. Smash that like button when you come in. Make sure you like and sub to all the channels. This week we got eight great channels. Make sure you stick around with us for the next two hours. Sit back, relax, have a cup of coffee. And just have some fun. Definitely going to be a good time. And I got a whole bunch of envelopes here. I, I, I did some did some silver shopping. Imagine that. But we're going to get right into it. Let's see what we got. You're right. We got a piece of cardboard. This is the way I pack my coins when I ship them. Wrap them in a piece of cardboard so they don't get damaged. All right, so let's see what we have here. I may have to get my microscope going. Let's see. Bear with me. I am going to have to get my microscope going because my eyes are terrible. All right, there we go. So, the first coin we have is a weed penny. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I love my weed pennies. This is... A 1910, 1910S, which I needed for my album. See if we can get a little close up there for you. 1910S, she does have some wear, but it's going to fill a hole in my album. A little harder day to get. 1910S. We're going to take a look real quick and see how many of them were minted. I have the good old red book here. It tells you how many were minted. So 1910S, 6,045,000. G4 condition, it's a $15 coin, and you can go all the way up to MS63. It's a $145 coin right there. So good coin to have if you're collecting weed pennies, which I am. We're going to move on to the next coin here. This is another copper coin. It's bigger than a weed penny. Any guesses? There's the wheat penny. There's the other penny. If you guessed a two cent, you guessed right. Beautiful coin there. Beautiful. Look at that. Let me get a little closer look at it. We got an 1865 two cent piece. Let's go to the book. Where are small cents? Where are the two cent pieces? Should be right after this. Two cent pieces. 1865. We have 13,640,000 G4 condition. It's a $20 coin. In MS63, it's a $175 coin. Pretty cool. Now, if you don't have one of these in your collection, what are you waiting for? It's just such a beautiful coin. They had a very short run on these. 
but a must if you're going to have, if you're collecting coins. Let's, uh, let's see what this is here. Pretty sure I know what this is already. And it's got a piece of cardboard. And it's got probably a receipt. Yes, it is. All right, so let's break into this and see what we got here. Gonna be, again, packaged very nicely. Oh, and this is a beauty. Look at that. Another Black Eagle note. It's got a little tearing on the corner here, but you just don't see these that often. I had to grab this, and I got this at the St. Jude's charity that Miss Ida put on. It was a great time. And last I heard, they made their goal of $50,000. Thanks to this awesome community. So this is the, they call it a Black Eagle because it has the Black Eagle on it. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Um, this is the only piece of U.S. currency ever issued with displayed the portraits of two different presidents, Lincoln and Grant. Uh, two giants in the 19th century in American history. This note was ranked 16th most beautiful note in the book of 100 greatest American currency notes. So rank number 16, the only piece of currency that has two presidents on it. How cool is that? It is just a beauty. This is my third Black Eagle note. Starting a little mini collection of them. What do we have next? We have... We have another package. Let's see what it is. Don't you just love getting mail? Love getting mail. Especially when I know it's silver. That makes it even... That makes it even better. All right. What do we have here? We have silver. We got a couple silver bars. We have this beautiful dragon bar. Look at that. I wonder if there's a date on it. 2021, Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, that's a kick-ass dragon. So this is going to go in my guardhouse box, which is getting really close to getting filled. And we have this nice little eagle bar. I like this bar. I don't think I've seen one like this before. What does it say on the back here? Let me just take a peek with the microscope. It says one troy ounce, three nines fine silver. And it has the, uh, has the old prospector walking his, his mule or donkey. Pretty cool. Nice pattern on the back here. But I really dig the, the front of this bar. I think it's vintage. I could be wrong. If anybody knows... There's no date on it, but uh, definitely happy to get another couple ounces of silver. And last but not least, this is something that I bought for my wife.
this piece of cardboard in there. Make sure there's no damage. Oh, it's in a nice sealed. Oh, I don't even know if I'm going to take this out. Because this is a gift for my wife. It has a certificate of authenticity. It is a piece of silver. Look at that design. Oh, man. That is just amazing. Now, her favorite tropical fish is the betta fish, also known as the Chinese fighting fish. And this would be a male. It, uh, the males have the long flowing fins. And if you put two males in a fish tank together, they will fight to the death. They're extremely territorial. And we have quite a few of these betta fish scattered around the house in their own little tanks. If you did not know, I'm big into tropical fish. I have many fish tanks. I've done a couple videos on them. You can check them out. I was also an importer of tropical fish, and we used to get these betta fish by the thousands. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful piece. I'm, I'm going to leave it in here. Give her the, uh, the pleasure of opening this up and checking it out herself. But I purchased this off of a, a, a buddy of mine that also, you know, he pours silver pieces. And he's getting me into 3D printing resin printing and that's what he does he resin prints his molds and then he pours them in silver and i will be doing that myself resin printing my molds and pouring silver and pouring copper so i just got my resin printer and haven't had everything set up yet because i'm having my basement refinished so i'm gonna have a brand new pouring station I'm going to have a brand new area for my resin pours. Um, exciting times. Very exciting times. That's why you haven't seen me pouring lately. My whole basement was being redone. Uh, putting in a nice ventilation system. The works. Not cutting corners on anything. So it's going to be great when it's all said and done. Which they should be wrapping up this week. And then we just have to uh, put everything back together. So, I hope you liked that video, guys. A couple pieces of silver. A beautiful gift from my wife. As they say, happy wife, happy life. And another Black Eagle for the collection. Stick around, guys. The link for the next video is going to pop up right in the center of the screen. So, just click it. Enjoy your ride on the train today. This is Will from Will's Treasures. And I'll catch you on the next video.